the best e-commerce platform to pick when you're trying to sell online. Now, we get this question a lot, John. Yep. Tough question. Mm -hmm. uh, the answer is it depends. And people hate it when we respond in that manner, but <laughs> it's the truth. Mm -hmm. If you have a couple of products and you're trying to just start something, you don't really have a business plan, you're not really trying to grow, you're testing stuff out, you can use open source solution like WordPress mm -hmm. or WooCommerce. If you want to be serious, we always recommend something like a Shopify or a big commerce. Now, yep. tell us why we recommend Shopify or big commerce, John. Sure. Um, so the platforms that we um, want to tell people, Shopify and big commerce, they're built for larger clients. Um, they can take larger loads. Um, when you upload um, different data files and stuff like that, it's not going to break their site and stuff. So uh, we know that it's been tried, true, and tested. Um, it's easy for us to manage, easier for us to market with, um, and it's just uh, has a lot of integrations as well that it's. Um, that it integrates with. So yeah. um, when we're looking to do business with other third parties or looking to make big changes and stuff, uh, it's it's definitely the way to go. Yeah, and they have all the systems in place. You can literally follow a series of steps and you can have your site, if you're not too stuck on design or in, on usability, you can have a site in literally 48 hours as yep. long as you have your products, mm -hmm. your merchant account, you're accepting credit cards, mm -hmm. it's all in one place. Yep. And for what, for 20, $30 a month, you can get it like that. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on marketing, e-commerce, custom development, and much more. Plus, new episodes of Surge, our weekly e-commerce and digital marketing podcast released every Wednesday.